Right now I've got my heart rate monitor on. I've got a buddy to train with. I've got my workout pulled up on the KimberlyPlan.com and we're gonna follow it and take you through it right now. Super set training. So today and on all workouts, we're gonna warm up with shoulder raises. Michael, show how it's done, buddy. We're gonna do four sets of 20 here, okay? That's boom, boom, boom. And then whatever your weakest is, do an extra set of that. All right. One of the things I like to do is not let it rest. So Michael, don't let it touch here. Keep under constant, it's called time under tension. We want to leave as much tension as we can. This isn't a lot of weight, so to really warm it up, we don't want to just push back through those sticking points. Beautiful. Notice it's not resting right here. It can be as slow or as long as you want. Now we're gonna mess with them a little bit. Let's say we're really trying to warm them up. Michael, I'd like you to take 10 seconds to get this up. That was one second. 10 seconds. One, two, that's three seconds. Nope, 10 seconds. Come on. No, no, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Even too fast, right? So take me slow, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more, drop it. One, two, three. This is a different kind of warm up, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll count that as this 20. Feel the difference in that? Oh yeah. <laughs> what, what, what was the big difference? A lot more pain, that's for sure. Uh -oh. <laughs> we call it the pain game a lot more pain. Your warm-up guys, with that kind of weight, it just goes to show that the longer it takes to do it, the more pressure and, and uh, muscle group you're gonna warm up. So, great job. Now show us front raises. We're gonna kick Michael's butt today. Okay. All right. Now, just for fun, I want you to drop it straight down, come back up. See, now we're not taking any rest. There's no rest on this. If you need to go with 10s, go with 10s. If you can do 20s, do 20s. But you really want to put your shoulders through the ringer because they're going to get a lot of work. Uh, secondary muscle to everything and most things you do. Good job, buddy. Notice he's not moving. He could go a little bit wider legs if he want, but that was beautiful. Show me a bent over, uh, bent over raise. What, like, a, like a rear delt raise. Yeah. We're warming up our shoulders. Okay, now, I don't know if you can see this line, but his weights are ending up all the way back here. We want them directly in line. I want you to bring the weight and touch, touch my head. You're not touching my head. You're nowhere near my head. He's nowhere near my hand. The reason why is it's easier when the weights go that way. I want him to kick them that way. Look. There you go. A little bit further forward. Toward the mirror. Toward the mirror. Come on. There it is. Now bend over. Now get close. There. Now we're working this little muscle. Come on. It's a little tiny muscle, that rear delt. Come on. Now show me the way you were doing it. See how far back it was? It's a difference of that. But that difference right there is the difference between using your back and that little tiny rear delt right here. We just a little tiny muscle we're trying to build. Okay, great job, buddy. So we did sides, we did fronts, we did rears. Okay, like I said before, your warm up is four sets. So pick your least, uh, your, 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 your weakest link when you when you chose to do that extra uh, set. So if it's your front delts are small, do an extra one on the front. If, you're, if you, uh, your shoulders really kind of hurt in the front, then do that extra set in the front. If you feel like your rear delts are non-existent, we'll do your extra set in the back. And then those extra sets on every workout four times a week will add up to be that muscle that you were missing. Go. <laughs> What's your uh, heart rate, buddy? 140. Okay, his heart rate's 140 on the warm-up. Does that mean he's warm? We're not looking That's at the sweat on his shirt. That was, that's, that's after rest. That's <laughs> after resting. So uh, it could be hot in the gym. We don't care about a wet shirt. Screw that accountability. We're going to judge our resistance today by what this watch says. And if it says 140, his resistance is high enough to be warm. We move on into the first set. You ready? Yep. All right. First set is flat bench press with push-ups on the knees are regular. We're going to start off with a dumbbell press here. Go ahead and show us how it's done, buddy. Okay, now I want you to see where he puts these weights. He's gonna take the weight from right here, bounce it out to the front of his knee. Go ahead. Nope. Get it out here. You, you, you don't ignore me. He's ignoring me, I don't know why. Okay, this weight, I said I wanted it right here and you moved it back. Uh -huh. Okay, now put it right here. 
Now there's a very specific reason why I want him to do this, and because that gives him the leverage. Now when he brings his knee up here, it's much more likely to fire up here than if it's right here. You don't have any leverage right there, right? So this takes a lot off of his bicep and allows him to work out with heavier weights without hurting the brachialis in that curling position, okay? So from right here, he's gonna do a set, and then he's gonna go right into his push-ups with no rest. Michael, you're the man, buddy. Oh, yeah, perfect. Come on, buddy. Come on. Those are beautiful. Come on. Perfect set, one down, one up. Come on. Come on. He's got good form, his legs spread. There you go. Give me a pop. Come on. Squeeze, don't press. Give me one more. Come on. Who's the man? Who's the man? Right now, right now. How bad are you? How bad are you? All right, now get him down. Okay. <coughs> Push ups. That's a right now thing. Supersets a right now thing. 15, come on. Come on. Come on. Hand position doesn't matter. Put your hands where you want. Good job. Come on. How many is that? 14. Come on, one more. Come on. Now, the push up range said 10 to 15. He did his 15. It makes him badass. What's your heart rate? 160. 160. Show the camera. We're not faking. This guy's in good shape. And that means 160 is harder to reach for him. 166 now. Good job, buddy. Hey, he's a great big guy. But you gotta acknowledge, the better shape you get in, the harder it is to get your heart rate up. For him to do that shows effort. A lot of us use the excuse, well, it's hard for me to get my heart rate up. No, it isn't. If a bear was chasing you, a guy just keyed your car, your heart rate would be high. So he's not faking it right now, Greek that way. Right now we're gonna do a little incline press with cable fly superset. Pop to it, buddy. He's got 70 pounds. What's your heart rate for fun? 144. Heart rate is 144. Resting. You guys, move. Let's go. Superset training is meant to keep your heart rate high. This is about calories out. Louis picking heavy weight. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. He's a tall guy. He's got a long way to go with this weight. Beautiful set. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Why are you here? Come on. How bad do you want it? You want to be on that cover? Huh? Yes. You talking or do you want it? I want it. You want it. Come on. Come on. That's you. That's you. Okay. Now on this one, did you do your 10? Yeah. Rack it. Good job. Okay. That's an unsafe way to put down dumbbells. This is a strong son of a bitch right here. What you saw him do was go like this. And when you try to catch that motion at the bottom, that rips. I've done it. Don't do that. Don't be Johnny throw him on the ground guy, but also get to hear the sense. <laughs> right over here. Right. Cable flies. That was a little too much resting. Let's go. You ready? One leg forward, halfway through, he's gonna switch legs. Let's go. Now, acknowledging he's using a lot of muscle groups, his legs are engaged, he's holding position, it's almost like a static, right? Oh yeah. Notice he didn't move, none of this stuff, he's not coming all over the place. When you had a resistance with the leverage like that, holding yourself in position, even with your core is hard. So acknowledging all these muscle groups are, are engaged, his heart rate should be that high. If he was seated, much like on the press, getting his heart rate that high would be harder because um, not as many muscle groups are engaged, right? That's how you use this heart rate monitor to, to really be accurate in, in the judgment of your resistance. Great set, my friend. Any tips for anybody? Train hard. <laughs> <laughs> I keep asking him his why. I keep asking him his why. He's playing the pain game with himself. Plus he's on camera and he has to try extra hard. Camera always does that to you. But when you feel like putting that weight down, did you really try as hard as the next guy? This man wants my job. I'm here, I'm here showing him how to take it. How to take it from me. But he has to take it because I want it. 
And it's a friendship thing. It's an acknowledgement thing. It's a respect thing. He's 23. He can have my job if he works hard enough. You ready? Okay, yeah, no, wait. What's your heart rate? 153. Heart rate is 153. We are following the superset active rest. And uh, he's going to go into dips and then go right into pullovers, you guys. This is intense. Hope you're training this hard. Hope you do train this hard. Let's get going, buddy. Fifteen of them, beautiful. Use your chest and triceps. Think about why you're here. Come on. Going all the way down 90. Yep. Come on, buddy. Great job. Okay, right over into pullovers. Have everything set up. The dumbbell's waiting for you. Have a seat. Nope. Nope. Yes, there we go. Now, let me show them my trick. Go ahead. Hop off. Nope. Put it down. Hop off the bench. This is how I like to do it. We're going to give him a slight rest. The guy's been busting his ass all day. We're right here. I then take the weight, put it here on my chest. Then I lift it up, drop my butt, go back, come up. Leaving it here is safe. A lot of times you pick up the weight and it's going to be heavy and it's an awkward position. I'll then set the weight down and either push back this way or just turn and pop up. Easy in and out of the position. There's a small rest for you, buddy. Go ahead. You earned it. You just, wait, why did you ignore me? Okay, that's how you don't do it. Okay, so you get into the position and then There you go. Now, wait. See, now I love, I love this guy because he's strong enough to do this, but what I wanted him to do was put it on his chest first. So, put it back on your chest. And the reason why is you're busting butt, man. You're tired. I've got him on a weight right here that's not as heavy as he can do to show a great version of the exercise. If you don't set it on your chest first, you just get it in the air, that's how you get hurt. Because I really want you pressing weights and, and pushing and pulling with weights that offer resistance your body's never been through. The only way to do that is to structure it safely. So I'm a, I'm a huge stickler on, on how to get the weight from start to finish and during the exercise. So he picks it up from here, he puts it on his chest, he lifts it up straight ahead of him, he drops his ass, and drops it down at the same time. Now I'm even gonna flip his hat around, that hat will get in the way. Now come up, lift your legs up at the same time. There you go, now come back down. Up again. Now bring him up, bring him up, right there, yeah, squeeze. Now give him my set. Beautiful. The further the weight is behind your head, the more, uh, the more chest. The closer it is, the more bend in your elbow, the more back. Now acknowledging that we do not want this elbow to really move, wherever you put it will depend on what day it is. Come on. Come on. Right now it's chest. We got 15. 10 to 15. Love it. Bring it up, jump back down. This is beautiful. Good hand position, his fingers are wrapped. It's a good safe position for him to be in. Now for a trick guys, one of the things I do right now, I'm not waiting for the, uh, uh, the internet. What I did is I took a screenshot of my workout and I'm just following along on the phone so I can listen to my music, I don't have to worry about it. I can have Pandora playing at the same time, you know. Come on, take this pain buddy. Who are you, why are you here? Come on. Impress this heart rate. Go back down again. Now right here he's getting a stupid stretch. When you drop your hips, if you blow out your air, you're gonna get a stretch right above this waistline that's incredible. Good job, man. Okay, now put the weight right here. Beautiful. There you go. It's a clean dismount. What's your heart rate? 155. Show the camera. Okay, right now, that's chest. Ripped apart the chest. We're going to go right into triceps. We do triceps after chest because they're a secondary muscle. Triceps do a lot of the pressing, a lot of the movement, even the pullovers, you fell in your triceps, right? Oh, yeah. Just the static and holding it there. So um, acknowledging that if you do your triceps after your chest, they're already pre-worked. They're already halfway worked out. You've already strained them. So annihilating them is not as hard because they're already halfway worked out. Chest, we needed a good 20, 30 minutes to knock it out, right? Maybe 40. Arms is only gonna take 20. Once again, acknowledging it's a smaller muscle group, but we also, uh, Pre-trained it. Pre-exhausted is the key word there. Any tips for chest, buddy? How you feeling? 
Full? Yeah, I'm feeling really full. Yeah? yeah. Is that fake water that I just spritzed you down? What's going on here? <laughs> no, I'm sweating like crazy right now. Heart rate's high, 158 still. 158, how many cows have you burned so far? 235. 235, and how long? 16 minutes. Okay. Now, I'm being real. We don't shoot every set because I can't show you every set. I took him through one of each exercise, one of these sets, and in 16 minutes, he's burned 232 calories. So now we're gonna get into the triceps, like I said, and this is more supersets. This is going to be um, tricep push downs with the V bar and tricep push down with the flat bar. We'll see you over there. That's what I'm calling the V bar. It's on an angle. And then we're gonna walk right over here and do flat. Okay, have them preset for you. If you got a buddy, do your superset. Just do the eyes. Let's go, man. This is four sets of 20 to 30. Okay, reps. Yep, 20 to 30. Now I'm gonna ask you to find another speed. Let's go. Yeah. What I like about this is it's not moving. A lot of guys are here, they, they're like this. Their elbows are moving. This is staying in one spot, which means this is doing the work. Boom. 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 Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Loaf of bread. Building a loaf of bread. Ladies, I get a little extreme on these videos. These are for you too. Just don't mind all the adjectives they use. Right over here to flat bar. Press down. Twenty to thirty. Now this is going to be a good example of a strip set. I started him off with a weight he cannot do thirty of. So he's going to finish this. I'm going to drop his weight and he finishes his rest. Watch what happens when I kick his elbows forward. Back. Back. What's your number? You got 15 left. Let's go. Come on. Drop it. We're taking him all the way down to 20. We're kicking this guy's butt. Remember, these have been pre-exhaust. Okay, they hurt already, and he's just starting. Let's go. Big chest. Elbows in the spot. Come on. Come on. Straighten those arms. If you have a hard time straightening your arms, what you're going to want to do is just take a wider grip. There you go. There it is. Straight. I'll show you the definition of straight. Go. Pull it. Pull it. Go. That's not straight. Look at that chest. All right, come on. Five more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Come on. 168. One sixty-eight means effort. There's no way to discount it. There's absolutely no way he cannot build triceps, rip apart muscle tissue, and his heart rate uh, one sixty-eight. It shows effort. It shows resistance. It shows the perfect set. You guys watched it. Duplicate that, and you too can have triceps. Oh, great set, buddy. Uh, any any tips for the camera? Just keep training hard. Use a heart rate monitor. This has honestly been like the best tool that I've ever used. Like I said, I used to. Just go in the gym and train and not even know my numbers. I had no idea how many calories I was burning. I had no idea what my heart rate was. And I was just guessing. So get a heart rate monitor, start using it. All right, uh, did you notice the tip of when, when, when we were doing the flat bar press down, when your arms were inside, did you notice how, uh, not easier, but how you were able to manipulate, you're being able to straighten your arm with the wider grip? Yeah. So sometimes just that small movement of where your hand placement is will allow you to do the exercise a little bit to its more full potential. Yeah? Yeah.
All right, well, your last set of the day, buddy, is reverse grip push downs with the lap bar, and um, uh, with the flat bar, excuse me, and bench dips uh, with your feet on the ground. You ready? Yep. We're gonna start right here, same thing. Okay, here we go. Notice his hand position. He's a little bit wider on the bench because I want him to lock out. I want, this is straight. That is not straight. I want him to go straight on these. 10 to 30. Now to mess with him, I'm gonna do something. He can do 10 to 30, we're gonna do like 12 right now, total. I want him to go 20 seconds on the way down. So, one, two, three, four, take it down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take this pain, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One rep, get rid of it. Beautiful. I don't know if you can see the distance, but his butt has to be close to the bench, or these don't work as well. I want that leverage. And if I can, I'm going to get him to bring his elbows in. Nope, those are hands. Elbows. Yep, kick it back toward me. Now go down. There you go. Right here, this is what we want. Right here. Now, variation would be lift one leg up. Go down. Lift the other leg up. See? Add a lot, a little bit more leverage, a little harder to do. Perfect, failure. Did you do your 10? Yeah. All right, we got at least 10, what's a hurry? 170. Last set of the day, we reached 170 March. Show the camera. 171, we got it. Not 170. 169, 168. This is superset training, friends. There's many different ways to rip apart muscle tissue. Why do I have so many? Because you gotta trick the body. Some people call it muscle confusion. It's like this new branded word. In the end, the old guys, muscles too, they just said change your workout. So that's what we're calling it. We're not being original. We're gonna say, change your workout. Some people need more calories out the door. Some people don't need as deep a muscle tissue tear. Michael here is trying to lean out. He needs calories out the door. He's not going to get that with maybe simple training where it's not as many supersets, much um, uh, lower volume. In other words, not as many rests and, and, and reps, uh, but still a, a great deeper tissue muscle tear. This workout is about calories out the door. How many calories today so far? 408. And how long? 27 minutes. So that means on average he was going to hit about at least, I don't know, almost 900. I'd say he'd hit 900. We did a little bit of talking too, so that's uh, we'll say this 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 workout should get you anywhere from 700 to a thousand calories all day long if you follow it. Michael, any tips? Triceps and chest. Uh, when you go down, make sure you always go straight. Triceps, make sure your uh, hands go, or your elbows go as close as you can inside. He was out here. Yeah. We wanted him I back here on those bench dips. And and the other is, you'll notice that your butt, this part of your butt will be that far away from the bench. The reason why is it's easier. So you really want to get it all the way back and try to keep this lower back as close as you can to the bench, almost going up and down on your heels. And what about that variation with the foot up? What did you think about that? Oh yeah, it, it put like more strain on one side than the other. It was a lot harder, so.